Hey, I'm B, and this is my current style. As you can see, leggings and a t-shirt are not very creative. Last season on this series, I really tried my best. I DIY'd, I became a thrift queen. I even tried to go super Pinterest slash Tumblr vibes, but in real life, I don't want to show my chimichangas. But let's just say I didn't nail it. But giving up is not in my Sagittarius bloodstream, so we're trying season two. Today on I Try to Fashion, we're trying the fashion of a supermodel, Rami Stridget. Rami is an international supermodel that models for Victoria's Secret, but tons of other brands, and her fashion is really iconic on Instagram and on YouTube. She knows how to put outfits together because she's frequently photographed. My suspicion is she probably has a stylist, but today I've picked out her most iconic outfits and we're gonna recreate them, see people's reactions, post them on Instagram, and see if you guys even notice anything fishy or if you think I've put these outfits together myself. Yes, I want to dress like Xena on the Walnut Planet Space Girl, so it was all me. It was my doing. And all these clothes that I'm showing you today are on the affordable side because this video is sponsored by Nasty Gal and they give you guys a discount code. They're having a massive sale, so click the links down below if you like any of the outfits and you want to pick it up, like this sweater, but there's lots more throughout the video. Everything is from them, including the shoes. Okay, let's start with day one. The first look of Rami's that we're recreating is this fluffy teddy coat and beige pullover that I pulled from her Instagram. I started with these black boots because I've been obsessed with these. I've been posting them all over Instagram. There are these Prada boots that are like the it boot of the season, but obviously we don't want to pay a million dollars for shoes. So the dupe from Nasty Gal worked out so good. They look just like them. They're super comfortable. Then I got a fluffy teddy pullover and I matched it with a beige sweater. Let me know if you guys think I got the outfit pretty close. I was pretty happy with myself about this it was freezing outside today so this was actually so welcome and so warm and if you guys notice i got a fluffy teddy bucket hat which makes me look like a teddy bear i literally dressed like a teddy bear to keep my chimichangas warm because i knew we were walking to the brooklyn bridge today to take photos because i am an instagram hoe and that's what we do this is a video of me and draco malfoy oops i mean nick Flix, um to commemorate the moment Hey guys, we're on the Brooklyn Bridge now. Piglet is gonna take my photo. So this is how my photo ended up turning out. I think the outfit was spot on to Rami's. You guys can follow me on Instagram if you want sneak peeks of the videos. It's at Blair Wanets. But what do you think about the color scheme I chose? I made it a little bit more like stark and over colored and over detailed just because it makes me happier. Especially living in New York, everything is kind of gray and dreary. So I thought this was like a warm sunset welcome. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hello guys, Nick and I just got home from a really long day. He got me flowers today. They smell really good. <laughs> um, I changed into another nasty gal like pajama. It's like a cohort, as the British people like to say. I got this like little star necklace that's really cute and aesthetic. Yeah, this is like the little set. It's cute. Do you see it? I don't want to fall off this chair. Do you like it? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play some music out of our recorder. Here it is. That's how you open it. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, what is this called? An automobile. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna play this by Lauren Hill. Um, and then you just put up. <laughs> Two idiots. <laughs> Why isn't this working? <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna figure out the thing. We're gonna make some tea and we're gonna go to bed and I'll show you guys with my second outfit tomorrow. I got a basketball game tomorrow. So Rami wears a lot of colorful sweaters all the time and Tuesday I wanted to create kind of like a futuristic commercial look with my sweater to show you how I'd wear it in real life because I obviously <laughs> live in the future, what, hello? So this long sleeve ribbed material from Nasty Out is a bunch of different colors which would look absolutely amazing on Instagram. I showed it to you in my kitchen and I decided to make it look like I was just you know, chilling in the kitchen and looking gorgeous because I obviously get dressed up to make myself a matcha. I recently got this abstract retro aesthetic water bottle that is reusable and metal. So I decided to show you how I make my matcha into it. First, I pee into the bottle um, from a really high distance. First, I pour an unknown substance into the water bottle and spill most of it out. Then I pour in the matcha and also spill most of it out. Then I lick it off with my tongue because that's how it hits you faster. You need that caffeine fix, just snort it or lick it, I don't know. Then I shake it all beautifully in the wind. And finally, my matcha is ready to drink and I am the perfect matcha making housewife. 
Wednesday was the day I really wanted to step out of my comfort zone and wear something that I would never typically wear. I found this completely silver slash metallic outfit on Rami's Instagram page and I decided to recreate it, also with two layers underneath. This was the outfit that got me a few stares that I filmed, but I did think I matched with my surroundings very well, so Walnut Space Camp is officially in session. You better come, ladies, bring your space pants. I did get a couple of looks, but I think it's because I was so metallic and shiny that people could literally see their reflections so I don't think they were staring at me. I think they were staring at themselves. So this is a lesson in narcissism in New York City, especially to this man who took a double take. I mean, on Thursday, things got a little spooky. I got these boots that look exactly like my Doc Martens, but are for a more affordable price. And I knew I had to go somewhere really good and delicious to get a hot dog. This is the best part of New York. Water hot dogs. Is that what they're called? Dirty water hot dogs? I love anything dirty, really. They're absolutely delicious. This sweater that I paired it with from Nasty Gal, also super gorgeous, super comfy, super soft. And the colors are like not something I've ever seen. It's a really easy way to make yourself stand out and look different. I know a lot of people start wearing a lot of black during when it's cold, so I think that's called the winter time. But I found a way to stand out and look funky fresh. I paired it with my black handbag, jeans, and the white boots, and I thought it was a pretty solid outfit. You can throw on a black jacket on top of this, and then shove the rest of my remaining hot dog in my pocket and scurry it off to show you guys day five. Hi guys, so today's Friday and it's almost December, so I've put on a really cute and cozy Christmas sweater from Nasty Gal. They've got a ton of other variations. This one was just my favorite. I saw Rami wearing this sweater and I was like, ooh, girl, I can get that for like a good price. Um, I'll show you in the mirror. It's the perfect um, sweater for Christmas. It's not tacky, but I do love a tacky sweater. The extra tacky ones. I would like one. I would like like a naked walnut wearing like a Christmas hat and like riding reindeers or something. I feel like that'd be cute. But yeah, it's really cute. And um, I'll link everything down in the description box. Don't forget it's all there if you want to shop. And there's like a discount code, which I love when they give you guys. I always ask for that. Um, some companies are stingy and they don't like to give those, but Nasty Gal is good. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Today I have bought a gingerbread house and I thought I would make it with you guys and um, talk to you about like December vlogmas Christmas, traveling, new merch, like things like that. So um, yeah, uh, let's just get to it or something. I don't know, what do the kids say? So this is the gingerbread house that I got. It's from Dwayne Reed, if you're in New York. So the funny thing is I'm not gonna read the instructions because walnuts don't like instructions. So you did hear that right, Nick and I are in New York right now and a lot of people are like, oh, I missed something, like did you guys move? Um, yeah, the truth is we're probably not gonna stay in one place um, ever until we probably have kids and they need to go to school or something. Until then, we're probably gonna move around a lot, like maybe live here, maybe live in Bulgaria, which is where I'm from, um, maybe live in other places, just because like all the stuff we do is online, so we don't really like need to be anywhere. So until we have like childs who like mandate us to stay somewhere, I will probably be everywhere. And I just don't make dramatic videos out of it. I don't know. I just don't find it that, in, like, I don't know. <laughs> I know other YouTubers are like, I'm moving. I'm packing today. I'm moving away. But, like, I just, I don't know. I'm not a vlogger. Like, I don't think anything I do is, like, particularly interesting. So, I, like, don't vlog or, like, show anything. So, I really appreciate you guys caring and, like, asking what's up. Uh, we picked New York because, like, a lot of the companies I work with are here and my managers are here. They just do the back end stuff of YouTube, like, the more businessy aspect. Um, they really help me with it and I really love and appreciate them. And they live here and a lot of the companies that I work with are here. So it makes it a lot easier to just see each other face to face and negotiate and talk and um, really lay out a plan. And it's also good for meeting, meeting other peeps. So I like New York in that aspect. I liked England, but I can't really see myself ever living there. I think that's how Nick feels too. It's just, um, not as like businessy. I also feel that like a lot of entrepreneurship things aren't really that poppin' in England. Like it's more of like, oh, you're born rich, you're like royalty, you're part of royalty. Liked living in Europe kind of because I got to see my grandparents a lot. Anyway, are you guys excited for Christmas and Vlogmas? I don't know if I'm doing Vlogmas. I might do like once a week vlogs or I might put them on my second channel which is Blurry Walnutty. Maybe put them there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want them on this channel? Do you want them on my second channel? And do you want a vlog every day or do you want a vlog once a week that kind of encapsulates everything? Another really fun thing that's coming up soon is I've been designing new merch 
for a while now and you guys know i always make my merch like super wearable because i want you to if you're gonna pay money for it i want you to be able to wear it out so last time we had this like really aesthetic 70s merch and this time i am working with a new company and we've created something like the classic rock band tee but like with kind of walnuts incorporated because i'm obviously a rock band <laughs> so it's like a vintage theme it's a vintage theme band tee but i'll show you guys really soon we're just finalizing everything now um i really love it and i wanted something that you could wear in the winter so we're definitely doing hoodies but they're vintage wash which i think is going to be really cool and um yeah, it's something that you can wear when it's dark outside and you just want something to like match your outfits and you just want to throw on and go. It's I know my other merch was like really colorful and really pastel, but this one is definitely just really like winter vibes. Oh, I can throw this on and run anywhere. Um, you can dress it up. You can wear it with like a Chanel bag and like really flared pants. You can also wear it regularly just with jeans and some bands and your hair in a messy bun. Like it goes both ways. So I really love it. I'm excited to show you guys. I am not good at decorating when I don't have like an aesthetic I'm going for. Like I don't think I would ever pick out green and red as like colors together. When Nick and I made a gingerbread house like last year, I think we kept it until May. We also had last year's Christmas tree up until like June. <laughs> I don't know if we're doing Christmas tree this year because it's like a lot of work and then I don't know where I'm going to put all like this Christmassy stuff after but I just feel like it's a, a lot of money to spend and then have to put in a storage unit like what do I do with it the rest of the year I wish you could rent Christmas decorations to make it feel Christmassy but then you didn't have to like deal with the stuff the rest of the year I was actually like wondering if I could like do something really different and creative with the Christmas tree design I like had this idea in my head of doing like this clear plexiglass or this like clear acrylic christmas tree with like an 80s pastel inflatable inside that's in the shape of a tree i thought that'd be so cool like a tree sculpture thing but i don't know maybe i'll like actually build it for one of the days in vlogmas i've always wanted to take a bite out of someone else's gingerbread house nick you want to take a bite out of my gingerbread house uh, yeah. It's your dream. Take a bite out of a gingerbread house. <laughs> Yay, that was fun. You sure know how to build them, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're the builder, not me. <laughs> Walnut out. 